Hello, welcome pen friends. I don't do this too often, but I thought I would just do a little uh, pen mail. <laughs> pen and ink mail, actually. This being ink and this being pens. So today's mail kind of brought some good stuff. Um, in here, I haven't opened it yet, but I'm sure it's two Wingsung 3008s that I can't wait to find out what the nib's gonna be. And then also I, I won something that I didn't even realize I had entered. I was over on Instagram, I suddenly got contacted by Robert Oster that I had won um, some ink and I, it was because I followed them and uh, let's see, it says in the letter. I opened the letter, but I didn't open the ink yet. So I was, you know, just stunned when I got the request uh, that, that I give them my address. So it says, thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much for following Dutch Pen Show and Robert Oster Signature on social media. It's such a great encouragement to us and our partners in the Netherlands. <clears throat> Please find herewith your gift of Netherlands Erst Fountain Pen Ink of the first edition Dutch Pen Show 2019. Oh my goodness. I was just ex so excited. I got a couple of their, I got a, card from Robert Oster and Patrick Santushi, Rel Relationships Manager. Wow, that's just awesome. Anyway, I covered my address. I got in here to uh, look at the letter, but I knew this was coming because they had to have my address, and I was just so excited. I thought, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know, but of course I didn't. It was, it was just a drawing, you know, so I haven't gotten in here yet. Um, let's do the pens first. And the reason why is because uh, once we get into here, we're going to swatch this ink. So let, let me satisfy my curiosity on these wing sungs. This came all the way from Shanghai, China. Uh, and I want to find out if they're the right ones. Of course, you know, I think they are, but uh, I don't know. I really don't because things have been changing. So I got like a pink one. It may have been called purple, but it definitely looks pink. And a blue one because I love these pens. But I'm not going to know till I get in here whether it's what I was expecting. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to look. Ooh, they are the right ones. Yeah, they are the right ones. So I will go ahead then and put it down below um, the seller's name because I know there were people that were looking who had been disappointed. Now, this is not the, the uh, grip that's, um, that's a problem. This is the nice rounded, you know, with no, uh, no forced grip, and it's the Lamy style nib. I am so glad because I wouldn't have been very happy. Well, let's look at the other one too, just to be sure. Um, these are under $3, and the other two that I've had since 2017, I've used them and used them and used them. I love them. So I really don't mind having two more. That nib was on its way off, but it's okay now, I think. Um, yeah, it's the Lamy style nib, and it's that good section that I like too. It's not forced. Piston filler. Um, you know, these have been around a long time, but I'm really glad that, that it's the right one. I was really freaked out because I started seeing people... Uh, receive uh, these pens and they weren't the ones they had expected but I do I trust the seller that I got them from because I heard about this seller from a reputable source let's put it that way so I'll put that down below so you'll know who I got them from okay so let's get into that ink we already got into the letter and saw that um, oh boy I, I was lucky without even trying here on this ink so let's take a look <clears throat> Aha! Ooh! What's this? Ooh! Oh, neat! Oh, these look like cards to swatch it onto. Oh, boy! Blotter card! Ooh! Swatch card. Okay, blotter card, swatch card, and then three swatch cards. Ooh, nice! That's thick. That's much thicker than the... I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Me flailing around the way I am. That's much thicker. Well, I'm not going to write on those yet. I'll put those up here, and then we'll get into this ink. <clears throat> I've got some supplies handy, so we can take a look at the color. Robert Oster Signature. And then, let's see if we can get it focused. Netherlands E-E-R 
S-T-E. I'll have to run a Google Translate on that too. I haven't done that yet, but that appears to be the color. So for us, or for me, a new, newly uh, minted uh, person who loves green ink, that is going to be nice. Let's bring over our little trusty uh, backdrop here. And what I have done... There, I thought I had everything, but the ink syringe was still over by my sink. <laughs> okay, let's get in here. Because what I want to do is what I always do. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you already see the green here? I, I like to put <clears throat> the ink in a, a, a sample vial and work from there. That way I'm not risking any kind of contamination and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put several mils in here. And we'll work right out of this. And then I'll label it later. <clears throat> I'll bring over my handy little <laughs> anti-spill thing. Wow, what a surprise. I mean, it's not every day you just get sent ink out of the blue like that. A whole bottle and, and something so interesting. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. I've got, <laughs> I've got a situation. This is my favorite brush and it's a number two Royal and Lang nickel and I can't seem to find the same one again in the store but I'm having to tape and glue and ugh, it's driving me nuts but it's the one I like the best out of all the brushes I have so I've been trying to make it work okay I'm gonna do two I'm gonna do the one that we always do for here um, which comes out like this one you know, so we can kind of see it. And then I'll do the regular cola ring since this is a full bottle. So that adds to my full bottle um, collection. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, doesn't that kind of remind us of a couple of the ones that we've been looking at a little bit? I'm not completely. It's brighter. It's brighter than Diamine Safari. But it uh, there's another a Birmingham ink that it kind of kind of screamed out at me when I saw it. Oh, that's pretty. I think that's going to need a nice uh, stub nib or a broad nib, but I just happen to have broad nibs. <laughs> that's good. Okay, and let's go ahead and do our usual thing. Because I do like to see how the ink reacts when water gets put down on it. So we'll, <clears throat> we'll just do my usual thing. I let it dry for a little bit. <clears throat> and then we'll do this one. Because this will be the keeper uh, for the cola ring, for the full bottle ring that I have. Oh, that's pretty. Huh. You know, it's bright, but it's not too bright. And it's green, but it's not too dark. It's just nice. It's really special. My goodness. Thank you, thank you. If, if anybody involved with having me get this bottle is is watching thank you so much we will definitely be putting this in line to be profiled we, right now we're working our way we're going to work our way through an eight series but definitely be profiling this netherlands ersty I, i'm really scared that i'm saying that wrong okay let's grab a pen and get that written right on there while i'm right here and then I do have my glass pen. I thought we could just write a little bit <clears throat> with it and see what happens. Netter Netherlands. Oh, okay. I was reading that wrong. Huh. Not really a big surprise there. I don't mean to make so many mistakes. Okay. Robert... Master N E D E R L A N D -E S Netherlands Erst E E R S T E. Okay, okay. Here we go. I think we can go ahead now and add some water and then just see what comes up. just kind of plop the water on and then I let it dry because a lot of stuff happens <laughs> after you do that <clears throat> okay we'll set that aside while we're 
dip in the glass nib there and here we go. All right, I think, huh, could have thought things through a little better. Let's see. I guess we'll just go right into here. <clears throat> Even though it's not a profile, and that's probably going to mess me up later. I'll say, did I profile that? That's why sometimes you'll see I'll write not a review because I rely on these notebooks to know, <laughs> did I review that ink? And I, I can, as a double checker, I can come into these uh, steady ones that I write in all the time and say, oh yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> Okay, and this, this is Tomoe River 68 GSM. So, the next step, I've got my um, Moon Man mini glass nib pen and we'll just write a little bit and then I'll toodaloo because <laughs> I've got lots of, oh my goodness, this has been a busy day. When you guys see this, it should be uh, July 23rd, which is gonna be a very busy day for me. So, um, at the end of the video, I'll let you know about the other part of the schedule here, but this week is just a little bit uh, heavy schedule on Tuesday, the 23rd. So I'm doing this ahead of time and leaving you with a little something, and then I'll come back in with the ink profiles. Whoops. Okay, so this is Robert Oster. Ooh, and it gets nice and dark in the nib too. I like that. Huh. Of course, you know, this glass nib lays down quite a bit of ink. So we'll have to check it out in other nibs too. <laughs> okay, and we'll see how far it'll go. The quick. Brown fox. Jumps over. The lazy dog. Okay, I'm starting to feel it get a little lighter in the nib there. But gee, that's pretty good. That's, ooh, now it sounds scratchy. All right, it's getting a little scratchy. That means it needs more ink. And you can probably even see that, that it's, it's needing to dry. <clears throat> but that's pretty. That's really pretty. Uh, uh, my mind always immediately starts thinking of comparables. That's just how it works. But oh my goodness, that's pretty. I'm so glad that I love green now. I, you know, I used to just have this prejudice that I, I would already think I didn't like green. <clears throat> and it's just not true. I've come to really like green more and more. I review green inks. There I am dipping again. <laughs> just do a little bit more. Okay. I think it's probably the words that are needed or thank you. I think that letter said something about it being limited. Let's see. I kind of am all over the place today. <laughs> I could just slow down. Yeah, it says, please keep in touch and do let us know how you enjoy your new ink limited worldwide to only 200 bottles. Good grief. Ooh, how did I rate that? That is awesome. Jeez, this paper is nice. This is like a linen paper and I love their little signature just like what comes on the ink bottles. This is really neat. I just, I wanted to share it with y'all because I was so excited. I got the mail and I said, what did, what did I order? Well, I know one thing that I ordered and it actually is coming from Australia, but um, they, I think, sent it out to me on the 16th, my uh, Serendipity Mini. And so uh, that I got to wait a little longer for. Okay. This is pretty. It really is. Um, I can, I just feel like it's got quite a range. You, you can probably see it's dark here where I first re-dipped and uh, it goes to quite a bit lighter and it's doing that on the paper too. And if you remember, it's usually our, um, our thinner 52 GSM that, that leaves that nice shading. But Robert Oster inks are really awesome for that, for shading and giving a lot of interest. So I hope you enjoyed this 
real quick look and I could not be happier that those wing songs that I ordered did end up being the right ones. And, and like I said, I will, um, I will uh, go ahead and list the seller down below so that you'll know too. Because I know in particular there's at least one pen friend who was looking for the correct, uh, the, the, these particular nibs. And uh, the listing that I s saw was just so clear on it that I was pretty hopeful. But then I thought, well, if it has changed completely, and, and it has, more than one person now has told me that it's changed. But at least uh, up to this point, um, I got the right ones. So, okay, I'm going to let you guys go, go now. But do let me know, uh, you know, just first glance here, what do you think of this ink? <clears throat> Pretty neat, huh? I will see you next time, and thank you very much. Bye for now.